Hello, my name is Lawrence Trowbridge. I'm lead ranger for the National Trust's Ashford Estate. Today, I'm going to be talking to Country Farm magazine readers about giving some tips about spotting wildflowers in the woodland during springtime. The Ashford Estate is well known locally for its amazing old trees and vast woodlands and downlands. And in early May on the Ashford Estate, the woodlands are carpeted with bluebells, as you can see behind me. The bluebells at Ashridge are spectacular and people come here in their hundreds and thousands to see them. But often there are hidden things tucked away behind the scenes that are easy to miss. And some really, really delicate special plants that I love. I'm going to try and point some of those out to you today. We're just going to look at three of them. But that's just a, a fraction of what's here. So let's take a closer look. Look out for this plant when you're walking through the woodland. This is yellow archangel and it's often a plant associated with areas that have been woodland for a long time. It looks a bit like a nettle, it's not a stinging nettle, and, but it has these very distinctive nettle-like leaves and the bits to really look for, which is really impressive, are these beautiful yellow flowers. So when you look close you see the structure of the flower is really quite spectacular. So look at this, this delicate little flower here is wood sorrel and the leaves are very distinctive. The leaves of the plant have this, this amazing sort of shamrock shape. At night, you can see these ones are doing it here, they often fold up, collect dew and then open up again. And if you look really, really closely, you can see the leaves have got lots of tiny hairs on them which are perfect for catching the dew. So of all the plants we've seen today, this is my favourite. This incredible plant here, it's called Toothwort. It's really, really hard to spot and it's really well camouflaged against the woodland floor with all the leaves on the ground. It's a parasite. Its roots go down into the ground and into the roots of another plant, usually hazel trees. And it has this pink and white colour because it doesn't need to produce its own nutrient. It doesn't have any chlorophyll like the other green plants around it. It's quite a rare plant, but it's probably very under-recorded because not many people are looking for it. So it's so easy to miss something like this when you're walking around the countryside. The bluebells and all of the other flowers we've shown you today are really important and their conservation is really important too. So when you visit places, do think about how special they are. Please adhere to any notices and take care not to trample wildflowers unnecessarily. You can read about a really great walk at Ashridge this spring in the Country Farm magazine. And for more information about walks at Ashridge, visit the Ashridge website at www.nationaltrust.org.uk forward slash Ashridge Estate.